Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own.
I've had enough of him. from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. The passage is here, past this wall. This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. I hate portals. Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, we must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before? Were there any people? Or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of the sea? Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful.
Don't look terribly inviting. <coughs> Damn it, gotta hold my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. Don't look terribly inviting. <laughs>
like this. Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. Snow's up to the rooftops. I wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridan's projection here. Before that, Ciri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. 
Did Aridan start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? What would it have changed? Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dada, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek, but I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. One will open. Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than you. No reason to tarry. Come. Oh, who's this? And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be it dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivana, Spain? at Koman Maka and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Grievan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. No, but honesty is not a facet of your species. So quit spewing bile. Won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. 
You shall see the truth. You will dream it. Even a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt. A true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the Regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not? Face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Margofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalarch knows him better. 
We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let girls go too easily. He got off cheap and easy. Sold us a few pieces of advice, some story about a sunstone. He gave us his assurance that he'll not support Eredin. And that is quite a lot. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the Lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Good now. I'm curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horse and Junior. A bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. No loitering round here. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests, so bugger off, you... you... Chance! Here I thought we could do this the nice way. Out of the way, you louts! Or we'll cut up your mugs so the girls at Crippled Kate's won't even have you. What do you say? Didn't understand? Too many syllables? Fuck off! Oh, you little bitch! Come on, come closer. Geralt? You say Geralt? You say Geralt? Geralt who? A fucking Rivia. Well, why did you say that from the get-go? Sorry to hassle you, misunderstanding that. Mr. Wiley's expecting you. That was strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. Do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that hole for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop! It's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me? Do do? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard, the mama's play, Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's do do. God! You give me quite the scare. 
Not wise to play games with a witcher. Horson Jr.? Was there no one else you could impersonate? Once we'd fled, I had no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his. In a way. Sharing it. With a Doppler named Doodoo. That was courageous, Doodoo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way. You've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Be careful. You could get found out. While these men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Shows an interesting line of business. Dudu's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the Eternal Fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? See a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? Friends of Dandelions. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact. Dandelion. 